Most of the time, when you go to buy a new smartphone, you know just what to expect. Namely, the same sort of functionality you got from your old phone, but with improved performance. It's rare that a phone does enough differently to introduce whole new ways of interacting with it. But Google's augmented reality Tango platform is far from business as usual, and with the introduction of the Tango-supporting Zenfone AR, ASUS is going out of its way to show us what this new phone is capable of. This week at the company's demo space in New York City, we got to check out some of the things users will be able to do with the new Zenfone AR. Augmented reality lets us experience things that are otherwise prohibitively expensive or difficult to pull off in the real world, and for BMW, that means giving users a custom showroom interaction right in the comfort of their own homes. The BMW iVisualizer app uses the power of Tango to scan your living room or driveway and render a virtual BMW i3 or i8 car. The detail of the rendering is impressive, based on the same engineering files used to create these i-series cars in the first place. You can walk around the vehicles, seeing them from all angles, or peek inside for an up-close look at the interior. There are even some interactive vehicle systems, and you can play with a virtual radio or flip on the car's headlights. The real benefit, though, may be getting the switch car colors, wheels, and interior options at your whim. Augmented reality makes it easy for the app to just render the cars with these different choices selected, while it would be a major undertaking for a car dealer to have every single different configuration of these vehicles on site and ready to show off. The BMW iVisualizer app looks quite impressive on the Zenfone AR, putting the phone's Snapdragon 821 processor to good use. The Zenfone AR may have augmented reality right there in its name, but that's just half the story of its reality warping capabilities. With a 5.7 inch Quad HD AMOLED screen, the Zenfone AR has what it takes to work with Google's Daydream VR platform. And while the display is slightly larger here, the phone's hardware has a lot in common with Google's own Pixel XL. Using the Zenfone AR with Daydream is as easy as we've experienced with any Daydream compatible hardware, and the headset's auto centering feature helps streamline setup then you're just moments away from being fully immersed in a new virtual world. Maybe someday the worlds of augmented and virtual reality will cross over, and you'll be able to see virtual objects rendered in 3D space as if they exist in the real world right in front of you. The Zenfone AR is not there quite yet, but for now its Daydream support does let you take a break and have some virtual fun. While existing phones can use their cameras to render virtual characters in the real world, think Pokemon Go, Tango's hardware takes that experience to the next level, scanning room geometry to keep positioning consistent and really anchor the rendered character in reality. ASUS shared with us a demonstration of the Holo app that uses Zenfone AR to let users interact with photorealistic 3D renderings of animals, people, and fictional characters. While Tango's technology enables the Zenfone AR to render these actors far more realistically than you could on the phone without its ability to track floor and wall placement, you aren't forced to keep things super realistic, and the Holo app lets you play around with sizing and placement, often for comedic effect. It may not be the most useful thing to do with Tango, but playing around with these characters can also be good for a bit of silly fun. And when the output looks this good, we're tempted to keep playing. Wayfair is an eager and active partner with ASUS and their incorporation of AR. Wayfair View, their Tango-enabled AR app, allows users to preview thousands of items in their home before buying it. Currently, the catalog has about 40,000 3D product models ready and waiting to be sized up in your living space. Anything not found in 3D can be sized up as a 2D object as well. Simply search the catalog for the piece you'd like, select it, and point the Zenfone at the space you'd like to see it in. From here, you can move around, as well as drag, drop, and rotate to fit the piece perfectly within its environment, just as though it were actually in front of you. You can even take a screenshot of the item situated in your room to send to others. The app even has built-in surface recognition for each item, so that pieces can only be placed where they belong in real life. For instance, if you select a lighting fixture, pointing at the ground will show a red X. Moving towards the ceiling, though, you'll be able to place the item properly, watch it unbox, and then adjust its placement accordingly. We did enjoy this useful and practical application of AR, as the app was always smooth and quick to respond, a testament to both the app and the Zenfone running it. The app's functionality reflects Wayfair's dedication and sound execution on a software that can prove invaluable for them. ASUS also has some skin in the AR software game, as it's currently developing a set of augmented reality tools for education. Based on Google's expeditions, the software is meant to be utilized in a classroom setting. These AR lessons will cover various subjects and allow students to explore and examine each one closely. The application is also expected to afford students useful information as they explore. But since it's still in early development, the number of lessons and depth of information for each subject is not yet clear. 
We imagine, though, that it will be similar to the other Tango apps, like Solar Simulator, which gives users a scaled look at our known solar system, as well as relevant information about each planet and other astronomical bodies. Each body can be examined and manipulated in various ways, something we hope to see in ASUS's learning content when it releases. With the Zenfone AR, ASUS seems convinced that Tango is finally ready for mainstream audiences, something Lenovo's Fab 2 Pro Tango phone couldn't quite crack. With brisker performance, a more traditional form factor, and carrier support from Verizon, it may just be on to something there. Stay tuned to Phone Arena for a full review of the ASUS Zenfone AR, coming your way soon.